Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be all about the new Rouge Dior for what? New Rouge, <laughs> what are they called? The new Rouge Dior Forever lipsticks. So without further ado, let's get started. So these new lipsticks from Dior claim to be the first ever bullet lipstick that is completely transfer proof. They promise 16 hours of transfer proof, smudge proof color with a bare lip comfort. Now, if that does not tickle your pickle, I know not what will. This sounded like a dream come true for me. I've been getting on very well with Dior lipsticks of late. The Dior addicts became <laughs> my addiction. See what I did there? But those are a totally different beast. Those are like a luscious, glossy, shiny, kind of medium opacity lipstick. These are like the polar opposite, but the stuff of dreams. Because if like me, you actually hate with a passion those dry down liquid lipsticks that suck the life and your soul right out of your lips and leave them shriveled up like a prune that's been sat on the countertop for a week, then this could be the answer to all of our prayers. That's what I was thinking. I don't know about anyone else. But I immediately, like my, my mind immediately went to like date nights, weddings, nights out, dinners and drinks, those sorts Sorts of things when really your only option is one of those hideous dry down liquid lipsticks or to constantly keep reapplying and who knows what your lips look like maybe you've gone through your starter and a couple of glasses of wine and there's really only like half a smudged lip left to speak of and that's just the stuff of nightmares so the thought that we could have a really comfortable bullet lipstick that might make it through like a three-course meal of coffee and a couple of glasses of champagne <gasps> count me in. But is it actually true? I ask myself. So let's get into it. So I picked up three shades. I don't know what happened there. I think I intended to buy one because I don't know if I believed a word of what I was reading when it came to the claims. So then suddenly three came and I blacked out. But I did want to kind of share some swatches with you because like the previous launch with the Dior Addicts, this has a lot of shades to pick from and it's very confusing and I don't know about you but I find Dior's like swatches on their website to like be about as accurate as if I took a photo of my knee. There appear to be 28 shades of this lipstick so that in that is overwhelming okay not as many shades as there are in the Dior Addict but like with the Dior Addict Hydrating Shine lipsticks, there is a very wide range of shades here, something for everybody, very light, very deep, colorful, summery shades, more autumnal, lots of nudes, a great range of colors to choose from. So there are five limited edition shades here, Forever Night, which is described as the Dior Black, Forever Tender, which is a peach, Forever Striking, which is a bright orange, Forever Sisterhood, which is a blue tinged red, and Forever Unapologetic, which is a brown. I guess they ran out of descriptive words on that one. So yeah, five limited edition shades, and then what is it, 23 that are presumably permanent. That's quick maths. But I'm definitely, there's a, a whole bunch that I could pick up here. Forever Sherry immediately leapt out at me. I'd love to try some of the orange and the peaches, but there's just very limited swatches around and videos around, which is why I wanted to do this one to kind of help you guys if you're looking at some of the nudes, but I will definitely be going back for more. So let's take a brief moment for this packaging. This is is so chic. Chic is the word when it comes to these bullets. They are gorgeous. I love like the all black with the silver logo, but then that detailing around where the bullet opens, I think is gorgeous. I love how thin they are, which makes it really easy to kind of get around the Cupid's bow and to not need to kind of do a lot of work to get a nice finish because these are pigmented. They're not Lisa Eldridge matte pigmented, but they are like a couple of swipe pigmentation. Okay, so let's have a look at the three colors that I picked up. First up, number 200. This is Forever Nude Touch and is described as a warm nude. Do 
Just the perfect like everyday nude shade. Love it. Beautiful, very easy to wear, no liner needed. Next up we have number 300 which is Forever Nude Style and this is described as a deep taupe nude. I love this colour, I think it's slightly different with that slightly cooler undertone there, that taupiness to it. A little bit 90s but not too deep that it becomes a little, you know, scary or intimidating, beautiful unique shade. And finally, 518 Forever Confident, which is described as a deep, warm nude. A really beautiful, like, chestnut, very autumnal shade, perfect for autumn or fall if you are an American. I'm actually really happy with all three of these shades. I think there's like, they give me something, like the three perfect nudes, you know, something for every day, something a bit warmer and richer, and then something a little bit different that's a bit cooler, like the perfect three nudes. I nailed it, if I do say so myself. Now, these are the weirdest, hardest to describe formula I've ever tried. Like, I wish I could compare these to something because I'd love to, I know that's helpful, but they do not feel or apply like anything I've tried before. They kind of go on like a balm and not like a thick balm that has a lot of, you know, tug or it feels really, really creamy and hydrating, but they have like a bit of slip to them and yeah, they just feel a bit like a balm, like not a tinted balm, not a balmy lipstick. They literally go on and feel a bit like a smooth lip balm. So that's how they kind of go on. Very smooth, glide over the lips, a lot of pigmentation, full opacity with like, you know, one or two passes. And then they dry down, but they dry down, not like a life sucking liquid matte. It's just like before you know it, if you pat your lips together, they feel different. So they initially start off a bit more creamy, not creamy like, you know, a cream finish lipstick or anything like that, but just slightly creamier, like a creamy matte. That's how they feel if you rub your lips together and then give it like 10 minutes and they literally feel like you don't have anything on your lips. There's a slight tiniest bit of like tack left. Let me zoom in. So you see how there's just a tiny bit of stick, but if I pat my lips together, or I touch my lips, it literally feels like there's nothing on there. Like I can't feel that I'm wearing lipstick. They feel like literally exactly as described as the bare lip comfort, bare lip feel is accurate and I'm shook. And watch this. Pardon? Now let's try the mug test with my lovely Queen's Jubilee mug. Literally, there's nothing on there. Do you see that? There's nothing on there whatsoever. I am spooked. I am beguiled. I am bereft. What's going on here? What secrets do you hold? I will say I have not yet given this like a 16 hour test, but I have worn this for like a full day out and about. And they looked incredible all day long. There was like no fading and they were, they stayed very comfortable. They didn't start like making my lips flake and they don't ever like shrivel up or suck the hydration out of your lips. You know what I'm talking about? You know when they, your lips literally start shriveling? That didn't happen at all. It literally feels like I have nothing on my lips and yet there's no transfer and it's really weird, okay? It doesn't transfer on like a can or a glass or a cup. It's really a mind bender and a mind trick, but it is absolutely amazing and I'm so 
grateful for this formula because it's exactly what I was looking for. You know, if you go out for dinner and you don't want to have to keep reapplying or worrying about what your lipstick looks like, but you also don't want to sacrifice your lips to the liquid demons, then this is such a great solution, invention. Thank you so much, Dior. They smashed their lipsticks again. They just want all my lip money, my lip pot of money that I keep somewhere. Presumably. So there you have it. These are a massive hit for me. They really like fill a gap and a need that I didn't have in my collection. I'm a big fan. I'm definitely going back for more shades. Please let me know if you've tried these, especially if you have given them a good 16 hour seeing to what especially if you have worn them for like 16 hours or you know maybe you've been swimming with them on tell us what have you done have you been horse riding do they are they horse approved let me know if you have tried these and also which colors you picked up which colors you recommend because i need more okay but i hope this video was helpful and i'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.